I went to Revit City and downloaded a sliding glass door wall. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. And so I loaded it into the project. And now let's see if I go to doors, is it going to show up? Yep, there it is. Okay. So what do we have? I made a uh, Let's see how wide that door is real quick. What's the properties of that? Yeah, I made an eight foot wide door. I just changed the one that came from Rabbit City, which was six foot wide, and I made an eight foot wide one. And let's see if I can I have 10 feet here. Uh, so we should be able to put one in this. So I'll create similar and put one over here. And Let's see, that looks pretty good. Um, where would I want to locate that? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out dimensionally where I want to put that. And for right now, I'm just going to center it here. Escape, escape, enter, delete, enter. Okay, and then I'll line the two up. So again, with this beautiful tool, a line tool, I'll line these two up. And let's look at that real quickly in 3D. What did I just do? See, I just put uh, we'll escape, escape. We'll shift this around so we can see both of them. I have one on each side there. And now the question is on the first floor, uh, what am I going to do here? Can I fit? This is eight feet, so I would have 16 feet. You know, I don't like that. Uh, so I'm not going to make it equal. I'm going to. Uh, make this return to here. I want to change that so that it's six inches. So I have some space for my casing around there. And okay for that. And then I'm going to use the align tool again just to make sure that this guy and this guy line up. And I just noticed that I didn't have any I didn't have any wall at a quarter of an inch of, of what I call a return. And we need to put some kind of a casing around this window. So I put six inch returns and that works. Another question is, do I put two eight footers here, which would be 16, 17. I, okay, so let's try that and see what happens. Uh, create similar. I'll just put one in there. Uh, I want a six inch return, so let's, I want the returns to be equal on both sides. So what I mean by that is I want this return and this return to be the same. So I'll simply click on that and change that to six inches. Okay. And then I'm going to put another one in. Um, create similar let's oh look at that so my math is wrong here eight and eight is 16 yeah so i'm gonna have to change that to the six footer so i'll click on that edit the type duplicate it and i'll just call it six foot get rid of that little two there and then come down instead of that being eight feet wide i'll make it six feet wide and say okay and there we go. So I'll have two, I'll have two six footers on this wall. So I want to change that return to what? Six inches. And let's see what happens if I create similar, put it over here. Wow. That's going to give me a much bigger gap in the middle right here than I want. But for now, I'm, I'll come back and deal with that later. if necessary as i start <clears throat> finishing the inside of the house with the casing and trim and everything so i'm not really crazy about that but let's take a picture of it we'll use the camera real quick and just come over here that'll give me a pretty good view of what my uh so that's what my uh, breakfast nook looks like. So, and this is the space that I was concerned about right here. Seems like it might be a little bit too wide. Uh, and I'll probably make that, I'll move these closer to each other 
I'm still centered about the midpoint. And that won't give me equal returns on this side, but I think I'll be okay with that. So I put in the sliding glass door walls in the uh, breakfast nook. So we'll stop here.